and for ushering us to see a new year, the year 2021. Usually when the year is coming to an end, I usually set aside some time to seek the face of the Lord, to wait on the Lord, and to hear from Him what He has got to say concerning the coming new year. And that I did for this year 2021. In the month of September 2020, I saw the face of the Lord. And I remember it was precisely 8.38 p.m. on Friday the 11th of September 2020, God spoke to me concerning this new year, the year 2021. The book of Amos chapter 3 verse 7 says, Surely the Lord will do nothing but reveal it his secret unto his servants, the prophets. By the mercies of God, I happen to be one of the prophets of God, and I hear from the Lord. The Lord spoke to me about this year, the year 2021. He gave me some insight about what the year will be. I want to share with you some of the word of knowledge, some of the revelation God gave me for the year. And one of them is that the Lord told me the year 2021 is the year of your becoming wealthy. The Holy Spirit spoke to me that it's going to be a year he will raise multi-millionaires. And I know that certainly that will happen and you will be one of them. The Lord also told me the year 2021 is the year that you are going to be very healthy. So you are going to be sound in mind, you are going to be strong in body. So not only will you be wealthy, but you will also be healthy to enjoy the wealth of the Lord. Also, the Lord told me the year 2021 is the year that there's going to be multiple weddings for singles, for singles that are marriageable age, for singles that are advanced in years. This year, 2021, is your year of wedding, and that will certainly take place. I had the Lord whisper to my ears that the year 2021, all the challenges and the problems you have had in the previous years will never occur again. Shout hallelujah. That is a big news. That one is a great one. Also, the year 2021, the Lord said is the year there will be new birth of new children. And yours is one of them, especially if you have been believing the Lord for the fruit of the womb in, that, in this year. Hear what the Lord also told me. The year 2021 is the year you will break new grounds. You are going to have new achievements in your life and divorce, in your career, in your professions. Also, the Lord told me the year 2021 is the year you will get results beyond your prayers, beyond your human efforts. Then this one excites me. God told me the year 2021 is the year is going to change your position and status spiritually, financially, and socially. This one is awesome. The Lord also told me the year 2021 is the year you and I will not be bereaved. We wouldn't mourn nor be sorrowful throughout this year. Now listen to this. The Lord gave me specific instructions for you. You remember the gospel according to St. John chapter 2 at the marriage when the wine was finished. The mother of Jesus Christ said to the servants, that is in John chapter 2 verse 5, His mother said unto his servants, Whatsoever is said unto you, do it. God is the God of instructions. And once you comply with his instructions, there will be answers to prayers. There will be breakthroughs. There will be results. 
there will be fulfillment of prophecy. These are the things the Lord has given me as instructions for you. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20b says, Believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. Wherever you are watching and listening to me, I want you to agree with me on these prophecies, on this word of knowledge that the Isaiah gave to you. And I want you to comply with these instructions. Then this year you will have the fulfillment of all this prophecy. The Lord told me the year 2021 is our year of mysterious results. The word mystery implies hidden or secret thing. It is the year that 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verses 9 to 10 will be fulfilled in our lives. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verses 9 to 10 says, But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man, the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Verse 10. For God has revealed them unto us by His Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. Well, here are the instructions. Number one, the year 2021 is the year you and I must depend more on the Holy Spirit. We have to depend on the Holy Spirit. If we are going to experience mysterious things, mysterious results, if we are going to experience things that eyes have not seen, things that ears have not heard, things that have not entered into the heart of man. Did you take note of First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10? It says, But God has revealed them to us by his spirit, by his spirit. So we need to depend on the Holy Spirit very much for the year 2021. Instruction number two for this year. We need to pray more. It is the year you and I, we need to pray more. We need to cry to God more than before. Prayer is a key. Prayer is a secret for us to experience mysterious results, especially we need to pray in tongues more than before so that to connect to the supernatural. Do you notice that praying in tongues is connected to getting mysterious results? 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 18, Paul said, I thank my God, I speak in tongues more than ye all. So the year 2021 is the year you must seek the experience of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. If you are genuinely born again, then you must seek the experience of praying in tongues more this year than you have ever done before. Instruction number three. For the year 2021, the Lord told me that we need to fast. Fasting is abstinence from food and water for a period of time to seek the face of the Lord. The Lord Jesus Christ said it in Matthew chapter 17, verse 21. He said, How be it, this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and supplication. If you have earlier listened to the word of knowledge, I said before now, you will discover that those word of knowledge, those revelations, those prophecies, for them to have fulfillment in our lives, we need to back up our prayers with fasting. Now listen to the fasting program I want to encourage you to participate in. Our church and ministry will be fasting throughout the month of January 2021. The kind of fast we are going to take, I call it a night fast. A night fast, let me explain to you. A night fast implies that from 4 p.m. You will abstain from food, you will abstain from water at 6 a.m. the following morning. That is for 14 hours, you abstain from food, 
you abstain from water from 4 p.m. to 6 a.m. the following morning. Throughout the month of January this year, we'll be engaging in a night fast. The book of Daniel chapter 6 verse 18 mentions night fast. Key number 4, instruction number 4 for the year 2021. It is a year you and I must be very sensitive and obedient to the check, to the impression, to the ideas of the Holy Spirit in all our transactions, in all our dealings this year. We must be very sensitive, we must be very obedient to whatever checks, to whatever impression, to whatever leading the Holy Spirit gives us. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 6 says, In all your ways acknowledge it, and it shall direct your path. I so much love this Bible translation, and that is the messenger's translation. It talks about Proverbs chapter 3 verse 6. It says, Listen for God's voice in everything you do. Everywhere you go is the one who will keep you on the track. I do pray that in this year 2021, may the Lord keep you on the track in regard to his destiny for you, in regard to his business for you, in regard to all your interaction. If that is going to happen, then you must listen to God's voice in everything you do and in everywhere you go. Instruction number five for the year 2021. It is a year you must take holiness very seriously. Absolute holiness. It is a year that purity and consecration of your heart is very crucial. Like Exodus chapter 19, verses 5 to 6 says it. He says, Now therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all the people, for the act is mine. Verse 6, And you shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Instruction number 6 for the year 20. 21. It is a year you must live the life of always praising God and giving thanks. Always praising God and giving thanks. The book of Psalms chapter 67 verses 3 to 7 says a lot about praising God. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18. Let me read it to you. It says in everything, give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. I love the amplified translation of that verse. It says in every situation, no matter the, con the circumstances, be thankful and continually give thanks to God. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. It is a year you should avoid complaining, avoid murmuring, Regardless of whatever circumstance, situation you find yourself, locate items to praise God. Locate items to thank God. And you will find that all things will work together for your good. Number seven. This is the seventh instruction for the year 2021. The Lord said, be faithful in paying your tithe and consistent. Especially this year, that one of the word of knowledge the Lord gave me for you is that it's going to make you wealthy. The Lord said this year, He's going to turn you to be a multi millionaire. You may not look like it now. That has to happen supernaturally. God has a principle for that to happen. And God will not break His principle to bless anyone. And that principle has got to do with Titan. Malachi chapter 3 verse 10 says, Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now, here with seer the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. That will be your portion this year 2021. 
It is a year that you are going to have supernatural intervention in your business, in your finance. It is a year that God will open the windows of heaven and pour a blessing upon you. I mean you. He will pour a blessing upon you and there will be no room to receive it. But you need to comply with that instruction and be consistent and be faithful in paying your tithes. Now take note of this. You need to do some spiritual warfare for the fulfillment of this prophecy. Yes, there is need for spiritual warfare. You can read Deuteronomy chapter, 20, chapter 2 verse 24. After the Lord had told the children of Israel that he had given them the land, he said, begin to possess it and contend with him in battle. He said he has given them the land. He said they should begin to possess. Yet, he said, they should contend with him in battle. First Timothy chapter 1 verse 18, he says, This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before thee, that thou by them mightst war a good warfare. There are two things I'm going to encourage you to do. Immediately you finish listening to this video. Number one, I want you to chat us your prayer request for this year. The things you are believing God to do for you in regard to your spiritual life. Maybe you want to grow in the grace of God. You want to grow in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. The things you want God to do for you in regard to your marital life. You want to get married this year. The things you want the Lord to do for you in regard to your businesses, in regard to your finances. Write it on the chat that is on the WhatsApp and send it as your prayer request on the WhatsApp to this number. Plus 234-905927-0030. In addition to that number two, you back up those prayer points with a sacrificial seed faith offering. A sacrificial seed faith offering is an expression that you are desperate before God. It's an expression of your faith in God. And you know what the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says? It says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Whoever we come to God must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So back up those prayer points with the sacrificial seed faith offering of whatever you can afford. And when you need a bandages to do that, Give us a chat also on that number on the WhatsApp. Plus 234-9059-270030. You can reach me directly for prayers and counseling on this other number. Plus 234-806-3319364. I want to pray for you. Open your hands. Almighty God the creator of heavens and earth, the God of Israel. If I be a prophet indeed, if I heard from you as I've told your people, back it up, Lord, with your authority, back it up, Lord, with your power. Let there be fulfillment of all this prophecy in the lives of my viewers. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Remain blessed and strong, and I love you as a man of God. Amen.